Hello everybody, Cell here. And what's up guys, this is VGamer. So if you followed either my or Cell's channel during late November and December of last year, you'd know that we kept talking about an announcement that was going to be made. Well, it's finally here. Me and Cell have teamed up and we're going to be making an adventure map. That's right. Here we're going to be going on working on a massive adventure map that is just huge on scale. I'm tell you the truth, I've not really seen any maps of this size, or nor have I worked on something of this size. And it will just, it's phenomenal, I mean, to be able to go and do a project like this. Anyways, if you would like to go and tell them a little bit about it, V, you're more than welcome to. Well, basically what we're trying to do is push the boundaries of what has been done in an adventure map. We're going to have a series of main dungeons as well as side dungeons that are story driven and then other dungeons that are just kind of like little mini blobs on the map similar to the naturally spawning dungeons in Minecraft itself. So not only will you be able to explore the story but you can just explore the world and find things that you know you wouldn't have thought were going to be there. Exactly. I mean, here we've gone and we've been working on tons and tons of elements for this. We've worked on making cutscenes, being able to make animation, going and actually even making a leveling system where you'll actually have stats and skills. I mean, we've gone and we're pretty much making our own game in Minecraft by using Minecraft's structure as just our base core. But we're actually going and we're trying to push the boundaries of how far Minecraft can go from being a game about building and placing blocks to actually making it into a fully driven RPG. So, anyways, things that we're going to be doing. We're going to, one, post video updates every once in a while, telling you about what's been going on and how we're doing with this, and going and giving you a little bit behind the scenes of the mechanics of it. Two, we're going to go and make a forum which we'll go and we'll update as well. We're telling you guys more things, answering questions, and, of course, taking suggestions. And, of course, you can look forward to videos of us doing Redstone to go and give you guys a tutorial on how to go and do some of these things. If you've been following V at all, you'll definitely have seen some of the elements that we have been putting into this. Just a few. Yes. So, our main goal is to go and have this done this summer. It is our, our goal right now. We're not sure if we're going to make it or not. We're just being completely honest. But, nevertheless, we will let you guys know on how the progress is going and how long will it take for this to go and become completed. So, anyways, right now I'd like to go and show you guys the map. Okay, so here is the map. Now, if you notice, it's a pretty decent size. It's from what you could have seen, what we were standing in front of was actually a giant mountain. And here it's very dwarfed on this, actually. I mean, let's look at the vast size of this thing. I mean, the thing is literally huge. We went and this was this one of our first tests of actually doing some terraforming and some mass building for a mountain, but all in all, I have to admit, it came out pretty well. I'm happy with it. Um, but yes, if, I mean, here, if you go all the way up to the top, you can, and I'm on far render distance, and you can not see the ground from the top, which is pretty crazy. So when you look at this, compared to the map, on the side of the screen. It is phenomenal. I mean, but nevertheless, it goes and proves the scale of what we will be working on with this project. So, do you have anything else to go in that Envy? Nothing more than Geronimo. You know what? That sounds like a good idea. So, anyways, this has been Cell. It's been V. Telling you to jump easy.